Hi everybody, ML Tories here bringing you our level 1 Bronco installation kit. Uh, these are the instructions to put in the second gearbox and upgrade the vehicle to 12 volts. So what you're going to get with your kit is another gearbox that's pre-wired, the ML Toys drive adapter with three screws, two power distribution clips, a 40 amp breaker with wire connectors, a 12 volt charger, and an ML Toys 12 volt battery. Now to put this kit together you're going to need some tools. We have a wire crimper, it's optional, it makes life a little easier, but you don't have to have that. You can use uh, pliers instead to make a crimp. Phillips head screwdriver, wire cutters, a uh, 3 8 inch socket or ratchet, and a 9 16 inch socket wrench or ratchet, a pair of pliers, the instructions, and a brownie. We're using a brownie here with Heath Bar in it. You can use a regular or chocolate chip, and in Dire Straits, you can sup you can uh, use a chocolate chip cookie instead. Step one on your kit is to remove everything that's going to be in the way. The hubcaps on the car just have little press clips in. You can use a screwdriver to pop the tabs off, get the hubcaps out. Then you're going to use your 9 16 inch wrench. You want to put one on either end or use your other ratchet to get the wheel nuts. Uh, you just need to take one wheel nut off and then you can slide the entire axle assembly out of the car as we've done here. Then you're going to remove the rear seat. We only have the bottom half on. There's two screws that hold the seat on and then that'll lift away. As so, there's a metal crossbar which we've misplaced. But it goes across here. That's two screws to remove. Take that out, put it on the way, out of the way. There's a metal strap over the 6 volt battery, two screws again. Take that, put that aside or get rid of it, you won't be using it anymore. The battery unplugs, and when you unplug the battery you'll be able to remove that. That's all the uh, disassembly you have to do other than this connector off of your stock battery. Sometimes you need a little pin to pop it free, but you'll pull the connector off. We'll be reusing the connector, the battery we won't. Your stock wire harness is going to have a little uh, circuit breaker fuse holder like this on it. Use your wire cutters, cut it away. We've already cut this one away. And you'll be left with the two red wire ends. Strip back about a quarter inch of wire as we've done here. If you have wire strippers you can use them. You can do that with wire cutters easily enough. Take one of the loop connectors. Twist it in place, and this is where you can use pliers to crimp this on. We have this handy dandy crimp tool. Locks these firmly in place. The reason we're doing this is the stock kit comes with an unmarked fuse on it that we believe is around the 20 or 30 amp area. It's not enough to handle two motors at one time. So we're increasing this to a 40 amp fuse, which will handle not only two motors at one time, but if you do upgrade in the future to a modified motor, it'll handle that as well. Now we take our 40 amp breaker. This is where the smaller socket will come in handy and loop these back onto it. It doesn't matter which one goes on which side. You just connect them on and we've got a 40 amp breaker in place. Use your ratchet, tighten them snugly, and you're good to go on this step. And it will be time for, there we go, your first bite of brownie. All right, first break is over. Now we're just gonna pop the clips back on, red to red, black to black, pop them onto the new 12 volt battery. Set the battery aside. It's just gonna be in your way if you put it in the car now. So we're just going to set this aside and leave it till later on. Alright, this next step is equally easy, maybe easier. You're just going to take the ML Toys wheel adapter, line up the holes, set it in place, tighten down three screws that come with the kit into the holes. We recommend not using a power tool for this. The wheels are plastic and if you over torque it down you're going to strip them out and then you're going to wind up having to get a new wheel and that's not fun 
only takes a few seconds. They're short screws. I always like to get each one started a little bit and then snug them down afterwards. There we go. This was so easy, you don't get any brownie on this step. All right, here we've put the axle back in place with the original tire. If we take the second gearbox and slide it in place, putting the motor in the hole with the wires. Now, we do tell you in the instructions to remove the silver washer that was at the end here. What we're finding is that some vehicles have different build tolerances. If you have both washers on, then you won't be able to tighten the axle nut. If you can do it with both washers, then go ahead and do it. The washer really has no effect on the performance. You'll know when you lock this on and push your axle all the way through if you have it seated properly. Little wiggle room back and forth. If you have a uh, second helper with you, this part goes way easier. Unfortunately, Today we're working under COVID circumstances, so there you go. So you can see with ours, we don't have a whole lot sticking through there, so we're going to leave the washers off. Use the 9 16 cents wrench to tighten the wheel back on, and you've got everything physically back in place, and we can move on with the wiring. So the wiring is really easy on this car. We use what we call power distribution clips for it. You're going to use one for positive, one for negative on the car. They're really easy to work. You just lift up a tab, have a wire that's got the insulation strip back, slide it into the hole. This locks down and holds it in place. So on your car, you're going to have a connector coming for the presumably blue and yellow wires. And I say presumably because they keep changing the wire colors on the car. But again, that, that won't matter a whole lot here as you're about to see. So we're going to Take one of these and put a blue wire into it. And then I'm going to take the blue wire from my original motor, pop it into any one of the other tabs. And the black wire from the new motor. So you've got two blues and a black right now. And that's basically all the negative colors, blue and black. I'm going to pop that in. If you've uh, done our lighting kits, these lighting kits come with the same uh, power distribution clips. They work great for a lot of uses. So now we're moving on to the positive wires, which should be everything you have left over. So we've got a yellow. Looks like our blue wire popped out of the original one. We'll pop that back in. And that's it. We're wired. Now, what I was saying, the colors don't matter a whole lot. What you're going to do next is set the battery in place. The car already has a 12-volt size space for it. We're going to plug everything in, uh, battery into here, lift the back of the car up, and hit the gas pedal. If you're in the forward position on the switch, and the one tire goes backwards and one goes forwards, whichever one's going backwards, just switch the wires on the motors to the opposite clips and it'll change the direction of them. It's really that simple. Um, this kit is made to be really user friendly. Let's pop our battery here. Once you're done with this, you can put your retainer back on. Some of the clips for the batteries will accommodate the 12 volt, some won't. It's really not going anywhere in the car. It's quite heavy and wedged in nicely in here. We just plug it back in. And that's all good to go. This can just lay in there any which way. You can tape it down if you're picky that way. Put the retaining bar back on. Put the seat back on. We do have a break-in procedure for the vehicle. We like you to lift the car up the rear end, put it in forward, and let the motor spin, on, put something on the gas pedal for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
lets the uh, motors, the brushes seat in. They'll be able to go a little faster and live a little longer for you. Now we do give you a charger with the kit. This is a 12 volt battery charger that you're gonna get. It plugs right into the same outlet on the car. If you plug your six volt charger in, you're going to either blow the charger or blow the battery or both. So make sure you note, and these do have an output reading on them of 12 volt. So do make sure you use the right charger with the right battery always. That's all there is to installing this kit. Thank you for playing with your toys with ML Toys.